Shalom, peace and well-being, One Life Kingdom kids and friends. Thanks for joining me, Miss Lisa, for another fun lesson. Today, we'll be talking about Thanksgiving. Did you know that Thanksgiving is every day? For those who believe in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, we just don't celebrate being thankful on the fourth Thursday in the month of November. We're thankful every day. And that is the reason to celebrate God's goodness. One of my favorite scriptures that speaks of the goodness of God is Psalms 107, verse 1. It reads, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Psalms 107, 1. Hey, let's try rapping to that. Let's turn that, that scripture into a rap. Okay, let's go. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. One more time. That sounded great. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Yes, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Let me ask you, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my family, my health, my friends, my church family, and God's provisions in my life. I'm also thankful to the parents and the grandparents that ask the same question to their kingdom kids. And here are their responses. I am thankful for, Elijah says, I am thankful for Miss Lisa for teaching. My grandma Ida, she's the best grandma, and my brothers and my family. Those are good things to be thankful for, Elijah. Isaiah says, I'm thankful for having my family, my friends, food, water, and shelter. I hear you, Isaiah. I'm thankful for those things too. Kenyatta Jr. said, I'm thankful for having my family, a roof over my head, a bed to sleep in. I'm thankful for my mom and my dad, having food, friends, and my education. I agree. Those are great things to be thankful for. Jaden says, I'm thankful for simply having lots of people that love and care for me. You, Grammy Karen, being in the top three grams. Thank you for always being there, Grammy. Great job, guys. Those are a lot of things to be thankful for. Praying to God is one way to show him that we are thankful for his blessings in our life. Let's bow our heads and pray our Thanksgiving prayer. Repeat after me. Dear Father God, I give you thanks because you are good and your love never ends. Thank you for loving me and taking good care of me. Thank you for providing for me and providing everything I need. Thank you for blessing me with family and friends. Thank you for keeping me safe. Help me to always have a thankful heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guess what? I found a game that I thought maybe you would enjoy playing. This game is called 
Candy Corn Shuffle. So let's get ready to play it. You need a sharp eye so you can find the candy corn in the pumpkin. So let's get ready to play Candy Corn Shuffle. Well, hello there. My name is Cornelius Carl. <laughs> I do declare, fall has arrived. That means it's time to play one of my most beloved games. It's a tradition that has been passed down for many generations in the Cobb family. We call it the Candy Corn Shuffle. The rules are quite simple. You'll see a single delicious candy corn on the screen. It will then be hidden behind one of several pumpkins. Those pumpkins will get shuffled around. But you've got to keep your eye on the pumpkin with the candy corn. Now just let me get my spectacles and we'll get this game started. My, my, I do so enjoy this game. If you know where the candy corn is, just shout it out. One, two, or three. Well done, but that round was easy as pie. Let's try another, slightly more challenging version. All right, all right. You best have been paying attention. If you know where the candy corn is now, just shout it out. One, two, or three. Very impressive. But do you think you can keep up if we add a fourth pumpkin? I almost got confused on that one myself. Shout out. One, two, three, or four, if you know where the candy corn is at. Excellent attention to detail. Now, things are gonna get really interesting. Sweet marmalade, that was fast. If you kept your eye on the candy corn, then shout it out. One, two, three, or four. Well, I am impressed. That was some mighty fine work. But we've still got two more rounds to go. My, my, that will boggle the mind. Were you able to keep an eye on the candy cone? If so, shout it out. One, two, three, four, or five. Sweet apple pie, you're right. Now, you'll need to bring forth all your powers of concentration and focus for this final challenge. That was faster than a hot knife through butter on the 4th of July. Do you have any idea where the candy corn is at? If so, shout it out. One, two, three, four, or five. I do declare you have done it. That was quite the sight to behold. Thank you all very much for taking time to play this game today. I have thoroughly enjoyed our time together. I hope you enjoyed the candy corn shuffle. I did when I played it. I needed a, to have a sharp eye to, pen, to pinpoint which pumpkin had the candy corn. So it was definitely a test, but it was also fun. Well, boys and girls, that concludes our lesson on Thanksgiving. Remember, Thanksgiving is every day. Have a happy Thanksgiving with your family and your friends. 
Until next time, shalom, peace, and well-being.